Be making your final uh, remarks on your chart because we're getting ready to go back to your home country. So make sure that you have all the information you need. Come on back to your home country. Everyone did a very good job. <laughs> stationary but good job for moving around and getting the information that you need so now we're going to actually look at it and see how this could affect and create a war so based on what you have been reading what is the situation in Europe at this time what's going on what's going on Demartes everybody want to fight and take over uh, Okay, so everyone is kind of wanting to fight. They're a little bit on edge. What else is going on? Okay, Austria is trying to take over Serbia. Why? Okay, so they want to expand their empire. They feel like Serbia should be theirs. So you have countries want to create expansion. What else? Um, France wants to claim back. How do you say that again? France wants to claim back Assange Lorraine. Assange. So that was their black stain that I talked about at the beginning of class, where they put the black on the map so that the kids would know when they're teaching them in school, hey, this was once ours. We should get it back and we need it back. So they want that back. So what could be some possible reasons? For World War One, based on what you have looked at so far, okay, attempts to reclaim land. What else, Caleb? The fear of being attacked. Fear of being attacked. Okay, bigger empires. So, with any event, there has to be some sort of trigger. There has to be a certain event that's like, hey, this happened now. This is happening, kind of the domino effect. Almost every war throughout history you can study, there is one particular event that caused war to happen. So, you are now representing your country that's at your table. So, kind of think that you are diplomats of your country. Think that you are, you know, going to be the ones making the decision, the power behind the throne, so to say. So, you are representing your country, whatever country you're at, you're representing them. So look back over, think about what your country's main aims and worries are, just like a diplomat would. If you are 
you know, representing a country, you have to understand what your country wants. You can't be like, I don't know what they want. I'm just kind of here. You've got to actually know what your wants and desires. So take some time and look over that real quick. And then we're going to go through some what if scenarios and see what would happen. So review real quick over your main aims. And we will start. Okay, this just in. So again, you are diplomats. You're the one sitting in the capital city talking about what's going on with your country. You just get news that Germany has attacked the United Kingdom. Who is going to war? If you are going to war, stand up. Hey, the obvious ones are Germany and the United Kingdom. It's going down. So you are Okay, so we have Germany, Great Britain, and Austria Hungary. Austria Hungary, why are you going to war? Okay, so you're allied to Germany. So since they have attacked Great Britain, that means you all are joining in. Is anyone else going to join in? Okay, so have a seat. That is right. Okay, so again, you're back at your capital city. Another news attack comes in. Germany has attacked France. So Germany, since you're the attacker, you have to stand, so stand back up. And France, you are being attacked, so you have to stand. Who else is going to jump in to battle? Oh, that's going down. <laughs> okay, so Russia, why are you jumping in? Because we're allies with France. Okay, allies with France. Uh, United Kingdom, why are you not jumping in? Because. <laughs> no, you have to give me an actual reason. We feel like we don't have to protect them if they're attacked. Okay, so if. They are attacked, you do not have to protect them, so that's wow. why you're seated. Heartless. Austria Hungary, why are you fighting? Because we're allied to Germany. Okay, allied with Germany. Okay, so everyone can have a seat. Okay, so another news bulletin comes in, another scenario here. Russia has attacked Germany. So remember, France and the United Kingdom will only support Russia if Russia didn't start the fight. So who starts the fight? Russia started the fight. So who all is going to war? We're going to end it, right? <laughs> okay. That is correct. Everyone, go ahead and have a seat. Okay. Austria Hungary has attacked Serbia. Who all is going to war now? Who all is going to war? Okay, Germany's joining in. Russia's joining in. What about my two countries over here kind of off by themselves? Your friend Russia, they did not start this war. Are you not supposed to help them? No. Okay, why are you saying no? Because. They didn't start it. Russia didn't start it. I don't know, but you didn't feel like No, uh, you've got to stand up. You're allied with them. You've got to help them. <laughs> France, you're the same <laughs> way. <laughs> okay, so... As you can see, because of the alliance, you know, Great Britain and France, they didn't want to jump in. They felt like, hey, this is not our fight. You know, we shouldn't join. They didn't do anything to us. But because you had made an agreement with Russia, you had to join that fight. Okay, so now you can kind of see the domino effect of how alliances will cause World War I to start, so everyone can have a seat. Okay, what I want you to look at now, 
on it, is what is the exact trigger? Those are all just kind of made up scenarios to show you how alliances can cause a war to happen. So, here's five different scenarios for you to look at. One, there is one correct one up here that actually started World War I. So your first one, a man takes a wrong turn in a car, a battleship is sunk, the leader of one country insults the people of another, an army moves across a border, a bomb is dropped. So on the back of your paper, flip it over, and write what number you feel like is the trigger. And then tomorrow in class, you will find out which one is the trigger. But it caused a war. This is not. Oh. This trigger is not causing the 20 million people to die. This trigger is causing the war, which is going to cause the 20 million people to die. So, put your response on the back. And then make sure that your name is on the charts and you can turn them 